Konami has revealed the lifetime copy sold for the Metal Gear Solid series ahead of the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume 1 release this October. Posted on the corporate website, the company indicates the game series developed by Hideo Kojima since 1987 has reached a total of 60 million units. As per a report from VHRs, the series had sold 59.3 million units last November, which means 700,000 copies have been sold since. Metal Gear has generated over $1 billion in revenue for the publisher in its lifetime, with the best-selling game being Metal Gear Solid V The Phantom Pain with over 9.6 million copies. This is Hyper Games and here are more PlayStation stories you need to know today. Troy Baker and Ashley Johnson are teaming up once more for another The Last of Us adventure later this year. No, it's not another remaster, at least not yet, but they will be part of Universal Studios' Halloween Horror Nights between September and November. The theme park will feature locations from the games focusing on the Pittsburgh areas, as well as newly recorded voice lines from Joel and Ellie's performers. Laura Salt Universal Orlando spokesperson revealed they work alongside Naughty Dog President and series director Neil Druckmann to provide an authentic experience for fans. Baldur's Gate 3 is all the rage on PC right now with a successful and very talked about launch for more than just being a great game. The popular RPG comes out for PS5 on September 6, and it seems users can't wait to play it, as industry analyst Benji Sales has noted the game has jumped to the first spot in the best-selling pre-orders on the PlayStation Store, which he believes is linked to the popularity of the game on PC right now. Benji doesn't believe the game will have the same success on PS5, but it will still be huge for developer Lion Studios, and it would be very well deserved. The latest EVO tournament happened over the weekend and a few pictures from the event posted on social media have confirmed Tekken 8's recent leak. The images show the roster and characters like Steve and Match and alleged leak from the PC closed beta last month. The beta was manipulated through an app called Cheat Engine which allowed players to take a look at the roster. Bandai Namco did announce two new characters at EVO including newcomer Azuzina and returning character Raven. There's a still no release date for Tekken 8, but it's speculated it will launch next year. Other announcements from EVO included Capcom announced the third round of outfits for Street Fighter 6, including new looks for Jury, Marisa, Guile, and DJ. They didn't give a release date, but should be released soon. Besides that, a teaser for Aki, the next character from the Year 1 character pass, and a collaboration with TMNT that will see costumes, accessories, emotes, stamps, and more in the game. NetherRealm showed three more characters that will be part of Mortal Kombat 1. The Vanish trailer shows returning faces in Reptile, who was in Mortal Kombat X but not playable in 11. Havoc. And Ashra from the 3 series. SNK gave a first look at the return of Fatal Fury City of the Walls a year after initially announced, with Terry Bogart and Rock Howard showing their movesets. Arc System Works announced a sequel for Under Night in Birth will be out in 2024 for PS4, PS5, PC, and Switch, featuring rollback netcode and the final chapter in the Hollow Knight storyline. And from side games, Grand Blue Fantasy vs Rising finally has a release date and it will launch for PS4, PS5, and PC this November 30th with a paid and free version, featuring rollback netcode and crossplay. And those are the PlayStation stories for today. What are your thoughts on them? Let us know in the comments, give this video a thumbs up or down, watch more content you may like as well, and subscribe for more on PlayStation. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Joseph, this is Hype for Games, and let's get hyped!